Hey, what's up? It's Joshua here. Thank you for watching. I cut grass. Um, on my way home from a from a project today. It's the the 20th of uh, August 2020, and I've been wanting to, make, to talk about this for a little bit over the last couple of weeks. I just now had the opportunity to do so. Real quick, hey man, if you haven't hit that subscribe button, go ahead and hit that button. I don't get a paycheck from anybody having people do that, but we really want to help people out. And you know, I, I make mistakes often still in business man i've been in business 13 years and and i still make mistakes and i want to share those with people usually not the same mistakes but enough mistakes that you know i feel it's, it's worthy of being shared so what am i wanting to talk with you about today um customers i just lost um i lost a good customer uh last week that i had for a while he paid me a fair amount of money his property was not hard to mow by any means um, and uh, but I mowed him all of last year and I mowed him this year so it wasn't a long-term customer most of my customers are many many years now but whatever the case is he, he had called a couple weeks ago he says hey you know Joshua um, is there any way you can get us towards the end of the week well you know maybe in a normal season I could but I mean we're still making money this year but we're not we you know we're down this year because of coronavirus a lot of a lot of customers are doing their own lawn care, and I get that. I understand that they're at home, they got the time, or they don't have as much money, um, and, and I understand that. So um, it is what it is. But um, normally, I'd have you know guys working um, that could do that, and I don't have that this season. You know, I'm cut back quite a bit on on what I have available to do work for, and then the customers too. So while in a normal season, uh, you know, I might be able to make an adjustment. And justify because where of his location I can't do it this year so what I do when I when I create a lawn wrap or um, a route excuse me I'll roll my back windows up here when I create a lawn route whatever is the furthest property west is property number one every week and then they're all lined up you know closer to my own property in that order and it just so happened that he was at the end of Tuesday and what happens is as the season progresses we get more and more sunlight we can do more lawn mowing each day and then when we get into the fall, we, you know, after summer solstice, it was like June 20th or whatever, we start losing time every day, and the grass starts growing again a little faster than what it did in the summer. So we have more work to do and less time. But anyway, we got to this guy's house. I never followed up with him, I, or I told him I would look into it, and and it just didn't make any sense to do it. So he gets back with me next or last week and says, "Hey, we're gonna go ahead." And, and he told me the first time he says. It's nothing we would leave you over. Okay. Okay. Well, he emails me back the, a couple weeks later, which was last week. He says, hey, um, you know, we wanted service later in the week, and the straw that broke the camel's back was when you showed up last Tuesday at 530 during my wife's quiet time out back. Well, I'm sorry to hear that that happened because it wasn't intentional. We don't have a standing agreement for any specific time. We don't. Um... And I don't know when your wife's going to be out there. And I'm sorry that that happened. Now, I didn't say anything to him. I'm not going to talk back to a customer. But these are things that are going through my mind. You got a national pandemic right now. Smaller businesses, more than ever in the past, need their work. And you're going to say, you, you got a contractor that's regularly provided you really good work. And this guy's lawn is striped up to a T. I don't like striping properties because I don't believe it's good for the grass and I believe it adds soil compaction, but his lawn is always striped up, really sharp looking. He's got a small dog. We never leave the fence open, never do anything to, to you know, terrorize the dog or anything. He's got a good contractor. So because of an incident that he, he cites, he's, he's like, that's it, we're done. Well, <laughs> but, you know, if you're going to end a relationship with a contractor because somebody came by while your wife is having your private time let's be honest um, you know her reading time whatever it is out back let's be honest that's not really the reason maybe you can't afford it anymore maybe in reality you do want later in the week but you mean to tell me that you're going to end a relationship you know a relationship with a customer contractor that's constantly doing good work for you because of the day of the week during a national pandemic where numerous lawn mowing services have gone out of business now mind you there are some other ones that are newer but those newer ones are, are kids in high school that aren't in school they're temporary fixes and they don't even last because kids don't know what they're doing and i'm not saying anything bad about kids in high school because i was there 
all right? I needed to work at one time too. The point that I'm getting at is, is you've got an established service provider that does great work and that is familiar with your property, that hasn't damaged your property, that provides good work, which reminds me that as a society, we have become so complacent. We are never satisfied with what we have. You know, you get yourself into a truck and you pay that truck off and or, or you're close to paying it off and you go up and you have it serviced at the dealership and a salesman is trying to buy your truck from you and get you into a new truck. Or maybe they didn't even do that. Maybe you just started looking for one yourself because you got to have internet in the truck or, you know, you didn't have, you know, I, I don't know, some feature that you didn't have. It's, we, we, you know, the blessing of having a truck is amazing. Having a truck and not having a payment, and who's messaging me? It's just something that people, we've gotten so used to having those payments, but I'm getting off topic. The point that I'm getting at is you're going to lose some good customers. That's a growing pain. Don't get down on it, uh, about it. Just move on from it. You know, understand that there are some times you're going to lose a customer for something that you did nothing wrong. And there are going to be, you know, times where the customer is completely wrong. And that's fine. Don't get caught up on it. Learn from the mistake and move on and move forward. Now, in retrospect, could I have saved this customer? Well, I mean, I could have put them towards the end of the week. But why would I do that? Drive 30 minutes one way out of my way to go mow the grass to drive 30 minutes back. I mean, it's, I could have mowed two or three more yards in addition to that one. And that time, it's not worth it. So you can, you know, you can address that up front with the customer, which I did on this one, so that you, they know what your expectations are. So just understand you're gonna lose some customers and it's okay. Don't cuss them out. Don't give them any reason to give you a really bad review online. You know, in my case, if he were to give me a bad review, you know, I, I, I feel pretty good about how I could handle the response. But whatever the case is, uh, you know, it didn't lead to, oh, you didn't do this and, and some cussing and all that kind of stuff because that's not going to get you anywhere, especially uh, with uh, social media now. So remember, if you haven't already subscribed to the page, guys, help me out, please, if you would, cut and um, paste, send it to somebody else that does lawn mowing. Someone's getting started. You know, these videos are specifically for guys that are new. Maybe some of you guys have been doing it for a while, might find some of this information beneficial. Maybe you would do it a different way. The really cool thing about having your own business is you can do what you want to do, but it never hurts to get a variety of perspectives about what you're doing. So maybe you learn a little more, or maybe, you know, you're more, you know, emboldened in what you're doing already. So hit the subscribe button. Please share it, guys. Peace.